afternoon. Good afternoon and good morning wherever you are in the art world. Today we are in a very uh, extraordinary space in Zurich. We are directly from Sotheby's with the Swiss art express, uh, Stephanie. Stephanie. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Welcome at Sotheby's. I'm very pleased to welcome Thank you. you and uh, all the participants to this, uh, to this tour. And I'm um, very pleased um, to show you the present group of today, uh, beautiful highlights from our coming sales, and um, to welcome you here in Zurich. Thank you. It is wonderful indeed because we are in Zurich Art Weekend. So it is one, again, one uh, vernissage after the other, and, uh, and we start with you. So can you guide us through this incredible? So this uh, exhibition uh, has several different parts and several different aspects. Uh, the first section here that you can see, uh, it's a wonderful collection of Diego Giacometti furniture mm -hmm. uh, coming from a Swiss uh, private collector. Mm -hmm. uh, this person has the privilege to have a close relationship with Diego Giacometti between 1971 and 1985. And he really commissioned uh, year after year, month after month, uh, some, some, some furniture to decorate his house. Uh, so it's the first time that this group is coming, um, is coming, of course, on the market. The collection will be sold in Paris mm -hmm. on the design sale uh, on the 23rd of uh, November. And we have a chance here to show for the first time to the Swiss, uh, to the Swiss public this, this wonderful collection. Uh, so we can have a little tour. Yes, uh, I show you first. It's not an artwork, but it's really a testimony of this privileged relationship. Uh, it's we have a large correspondence, uh, letters between Diego and um, and our clients, uh, really demonstrating this, this close relationship and how this collection has been carefully carefully built. Um, so this is really like a, a great testimony. And um, it's very yeah, it's, it, it's very it's very interesting. It's it's show, it, it really shows the, the, the close the close relationship. And um, so how, how long will it be the exhibition? For? So the exhibition will last here uh, until uh, Sunday at yes. five, and then this group will be uh, show uh, in Geneva mm -hmm. during the luxury week at Hotel Mondarin, where we will have the magnificent jewel sales, watch sale, and also. All the luxury new categories that we are selling, like handbags, sneakers, and uh, cars, and all the things. And uh, we will also present uh, part of the collection uh, for, for, for clients uh, in Geneva. Yes. And then the collection we will really move to Paris and will be exhibited in our Colisée de Faubourg Saint Honoré uh, just a few days before the sale, right. before giving the auction. Um, on the Third, it's going to be an evening sale, and this will be a dedicated section of the sale for the collection, amongst other major works by Diego Giacometti. So, because our company has really um, history in selling very important works by Diego, and so we will have really an evening sale and dedicated to the artist. It's a beautifully choreographically placed. Yeah, it's a, the, yeah, the items speak yes. by themselves, yes. so we don't need that much yes. of, uh, of decoration, no. but it's really, they can really fit uh, everywhere. And is there any piece that you would like to see? So, the, the, really, the, 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 they are all very interesting, and they all, they all show really what, what Jekyll Giacometti was uh, interested in, is really uh, nature and the yes. uh, interesting work yeah for example you show me this table yes. so when he was living in paris he was all the time spending a lot of time at um, the jardin des plantes mm -hmm. to study uh, plants birds um, and this really his uh, his uh, his work is really surrounded by always by animals all birds uh, everything rabbits uh, all coming from his imagination Wonderful. It's a huge, yes. it's a very nice um, uh, wall lamp, yes. um, and uh, also with a bird, like a little little ball. It's patinated bronze. The patinated yeah. bronze, uh, yeah, you can really see that he was really an extraordinary uh, founder, and he used to work, I 
as most of you know, uh, with his brother Alberto, yes. a famous sculptor. Yes. And this piece is really, according to me, iconic. And this is the, really the, the highlight, I would say, of the collection. This is a bench, and it's very much influenced by his collaboration with Alberto. And also, it's, it's really nice. And also, the forms are also influenced by the antiquity. Yes. Um, because um, Diego was, has studied a lot of the, the antiquity. He has traveled uh, for a short period of time into Egypt, where he found forms and inspiration for, for, later, for later production. So this is really a wonderful piece, which can be used as a bench as it is, or as a coffee table, or it's really, and it's really a, a great. Of course, they are so, so there, are, there are so many, many things. Many so, pieces, but, so the fireworks are also very famous. The model with the stars or skeleton. Mm -hmm. This is really something. The model of, of, of stars is also reused in other composition. So and you can see here uh, Diego in his uh, atelier. Um, so he worked closely with his brother Alberto until his death, and then uh, really become more recognized for his his work. Several things. Yes, yes. and there are also the, this pair of. But we, we could talk, and there yes. are also other things, and the lamps, yes. and yes. so there yeah. are yeah. Yeah, several yeah. other things yeah. to be you discussed, so <laughs> to be discovered. But it's, it's really a beautiful collection. They, can, they become also alive through your descriptions. So yeah. it's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. And it's really, and it's you also can see the, the, the passion coming. Yeah, so you can really, yes. when you, you meet with clients and with the owner, it's also. It's really a privilege to have them here and then coming to new, going to new life. Yes. Yes. And this is one of uh, your first, because until now they were all uh, online. This is really one of the first events. So, so the events we are still it's doing events, events, of course, events in, uh, uh, post, post, <laughs> post post COVID. Yes. Uh, but we always had uh, online and yes. auction and, and live sales, and for design uh, we we kept even. During COVID, yes. most of our sales were live. Yes. Uh, so the important design sales in Paris are still, still live. So we will continue that format. But it's true that since COVID, we really uh, innovated uh, with launching online and, and stream streamlined sale yeah. and new uh, wave. Well, and, and we, we are doing we are doing both uh, according to, to the format. Thank you. So and yes. So if you like, we can. I can show you as we are talking about yes. Diego. Yes, the father of Diego is Giovanni Giacometti, yes. as most of you know. And we also have a very, very nice painting just over there. Yeah, so if you, you, if you'd like to, to see it, yes. uh, so we show it, show it for the for the first time uh, to the public uh, today. Uh, so you are really the first to discover that this painting was uh, hanging in the Hall Museum. Um, just recently, because there was a very uh, important retrospective of Japanese uh, paintings about landscapes, and this painting was part of it. Uh, it's one of the most important uh, early work by Diego Giacometti, which was uh, commissioned and made especially for the Exposition Universelle of 900, so it's dated 899, and it, it shows the palace of, um, of Maloya. Um, and the, the painting has stayed uh, in the same place um, during the whole, the whole 20th century. So after the Exposition Universelle, it's been acquired uh, by a private uh, collection, uh, private collectors, and has remained in the same place uh, until again. today. So this painting will be offered uh, in December in Zurich during our Swiss Fine Art Sale, which will be a Merman sale. Uh, from 7th to 14th of, um, of December, and will be really uh, a, a top loss of, of the sale. And it's really, it's just uh, 19, 1899 is really the date when Giacometti is still classical, um, and a few years later he returns to the style that we know, but it's really, it's really a masterpiece. And it's really, it's really and uh, thank you. No, and there is uh, any uh, any other uh, highlights? So uh, any other highlights? We can go downstairs yes. if you'd like to see uh, the rest of uh, the exhibition.
So here we are going to a different room. Yes, it's the second part of the exhibition. Yes. And here we have, uh, we are very proud to present a various range of things yes. from yes. different sales. Uh, so you have, first of all, uh, these three wonderful mixtures uh, coming from a collection of Rega and Walter Lodz. Um, and this will be uh, our team in the end of year. Um, here you can, you can see, it's the first time that they are, they are seen here in, in Zurich. Um, so we are very really proud to, 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 show, to show them to, to the public and surrounded by um, also by, by very nice works um, to be offered um, in Paris, in New York, and also in our new premises in Cologne, mm -hmm. because we just opened uh, a new office uh, in Cologne, and it's large yes. space, which just are finishing today, and some of the works out there um, will be offered, um, so either in New York, in London, in Paris, or also in Cologne. So, um, and some of the works that we will go, um, you can see in that room, will be also offered privately. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, it's a uh, very nice Arcadia. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. It's an artwork uh, that, uh, is, uh, that people can buy just over the weekend. So, maybe it will be, uh, will be sold <laughs> in the coming hours. Um, yeah, so it's, really it's, a, it's, a, it's a very, it's a very nice, um, all of them, uh, you know, the composition is, uh, it's, uh, so, so that's uh, that's really something. Um, and, yeah, and, 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 and also in the private space section, uh, you have this uh, diptych of, of portraits uh, by Andrew Warhol, yes. um, of this uh, famous lady that people in, uh, in Switzerland um, adore, and I know, um, Susan Stahel. Uh, mm -hmm. She used to be with her husband, a uh, collector, a very important collector of uh, contemporary contemporary works. And um, as we know, Warhol, for people who had the chance to, uh, to, to meet Warhol at the time, uh, they had their portraits yeah. down here uh, in Zurich and elsewhere. And uh, we have this, this beautiful, um, uh, this beautiful, deep and beautiful, beautiful portrait. Yeah. Um, talking about beautiful woman, <laughs> we move maybe to to this Valoton, which is also a highlight of the next Swiss Fine Art Sale, mm -hmm. uh, together with the Jacques Tiaxal upstairs. And this is really a museum piece mm -hmm. by Valoton. Um, of course, the format, um, the subject of uh, blind woman is very famous in art historians and reminds famous composition of mm -hmm. all the big master um from old master to um, to other, many other other, people, many other artists and um as we can see as some sometimes in most of the time for for Valoton, um the, the, the figure is um is surrounded um by not very rich decoration mm -hmm. um, but it's very um, very unusual to have depiction of woman in such a in a really beautiful way, and um, and, and it's and also to the size. The size is very unusual for Valoton. We used to do portraits in small, so smaller formats, and um, the gaze, the, the gaze, yeah, and um, and also the composition is always very interesting. Um, and the rich, um, rich decoration and this green background is also very typical from 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 Valotum. and uh, it's a really amazing piece and um, and also painting which has been in the same families since roughly 1960s and has never been shown to the public. It's wonderful. So they're yeah. really incredible pieces. Yes, exactly. To discover. Exactly. To discover and, and see and feel. Yes. Right. And uh, not going maybe to a true artwork, but kind of. <laughs> we have this uh, crypto punk here. Oh, uh, so it's, uh, this is the big uh, subject. Yes. <laughs> now you must have heard and you will hear a lot about. Um, so we launch uh, NFT sales and um, 
and also crypto uh, crypto payment in cryptocurrencies for from some of the of the works that we offered at auction and uh, with, with really strong results and uh, this one um, will be offered um, in contemporary day sale in London uh, in October so as you say it's a big big jump from volatile to to, to, to crypto <laughs> and um, but it, it's a, again, uh, I think it re it's reflecting our times. You know, that exactly. We have to embrace, uh, in a way, unfortunately, fortunately for many, uh, the two worlds that have to be this key digitality that we yes. are living. And uh, the and two worlds are functioning and working extremely well together. And we can see with the very diversity of things that we offer to our clients that there is really something for every kind of clients and this is really every taste as you say and uh, we really diversified ourselves and also we are prepared not before COVID for this transformation and innovation uh, that our company has, has, has started and, um, and this cross category exhibition and also cross category sales uh, around the world are really reflecting the, the new trends and mm -hmm. Yes. And what people are, I guess, are really expecting to have discoveries and to be surprised um, when they arrive somewhere. Else. Yes, I think it's a, it's a, uh, as you said, it's a, the tradition, present, and the future that is being uh, embraced here. Wonderful, yes. wonderful so, tradition. Thank you. You're, thank you you're for welcome. your time. It's I a pleasure. Again, yet we always find very busy moments of uh, of uh, and so we leave you to all your uh, to your audience for thank you. coming but thank you very much thank for you. your participation and uh, we are there all the weekend and we look forward to seeing you in our future exhibition sales and with great pleasure thank you great pleasure thank you <laughs>